Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Kingwood, Texas. This is Wednesday, April the 22nd, and this is our online healing service for this day. Thank you so much for joining us. Alleluia! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, and quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Holy Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grace and peace be with you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn in the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. Comfort, O comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid and that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all of her sins. A voice cries out, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. For every valley shall, we, shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out! And I said, What shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, and Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God cometh with might, and his arms rule for him. He reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead his mother to sheep. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. When he had returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many gathered around, there was no room for them, not even at the front of the door. And he was speaking the word to them. Then some people came, bringing to him a paralyzed man, carried by four of them. And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him, and having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. But now some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts, Why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves. And he said to them, Why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic? Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand up and take your mat and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, Stand up, take your mat, and go to your home. And he stood up and immediately took the mat and went out before all of them, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The word of the Lord. In the name of the living God, creator, redeemer, and sanctifier. Amen. I love this passage from Mark's gospel. 
It is not often read in the Sunday morning readings just because of where it falls in the calendar, but it is appropriate for a healing setting and I thought it was particularly applicable to today. Now we learn in this reading that Jesus is in Capernaum. He is in a house and everyone finds out that he's there so this huge crowd gathers around. The house is filled, there's no room for them so they gather on the, on the front porch, they gather in the front yard, they, apparently have surrounded the house. There's no room in the house. There's no room in the yard. No one can, no more people can get in there. People in distress, the sick, the disabled, probably some people who are mentally ill, those who are lost, those who are in despair, people in all kinds of trouble, dealing with, with one crisis or difficulty after another are gathered around Jesus. And into this huge mass of people come four men carrying a paralyzed man. They can't get close to the door. They can't get close to Jesus. Four men carrying another man into this huge mass of people. Somehow they make their way around the side of the house, maybe the back of the house, and they are able to climb up on top of the roof. And they began to dismantle the roof or dig up the roof, if, if you will, and they create a hole large enough to lower this man into the room where Jesus is. An incredible feat. And when Jesus sees their effort and their persistence, when he sees their faith, he is astounded. And he says, son, your sins are forgiven. Now, the Pharisees, who always seem to be there sparing on Jesus, completely freak out. They cannot believe that someone publicly has had the audacity to, to say that they can forgive sins. Jesus knows what they're talking about, and he says, well, is it easier for you to say your sins are forgiven or to stand up, take your mat, and walk? He said, just to show you, just so that you know that I am with God and I have God's authority I say to you, take up your mat and go home. And the man stands up and takes up his mat. And everyone is amazed and astounded. All of this happened because this man was able to get to Jesus. Go to Jesus. Get to Jesus. Even in the chaos of that situation, even in any imaginable, impossible set of circumstances, get to Jesus. Overcome your limitations. Ask for help. Accept help. When you meet obstacles, take them apart. Nothing is more important or more essential to any of us than getting to Jesus. Whatever is keeping us down, whatever is holding us back, whatever has us paralyzed, in mind, body, or spirit, get to Jesus. Do not be dissuaded, discouraged, or distracted by anything. Get to Jesus. Look into his eyes, and you will be amazed. You can be an amazing witness to the power of God's love. It is held in the hands and heart of Jesus. Get to Jesus. Get to him now. And walk away from what brought you to him to begin with. Amen. This is him 455. O oh, love of God, how strong and true, eternal and yet ever new uncomprehended and unfought beyond all knowledge and all thought O oh, wide embracing wondrous love reread thee in the sky above reread thee in the earth below in seas that swell and streams that flow we read the best in him who came to bear for us the cross of shame sent by the father from on high our life to live our death to die 
We read thy part to bless and say, E'en in the darkness of a grave, Still more in resurrection light, We read the fullness of thy might. A Litany of Healing let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We, we praise, praise you and thank, thank you, O Lord. Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We, we praise, praise you and thank, thank you, O Lord. Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We, we praise, praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We, we praise, praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Bless physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death and uphold by the grace and consolation of your spirit those who are bereaved. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have You're declared declare your power among, among the peoples. peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And, and in you your light we see, see light. light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal Hear us and, and make us whole. whole. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for your beloved Jesus Christ, in whom you have shared the beauty and pain of human life. Look with compassion upon all for whom we pray, and strengthen us to be your instruments of healing in the world by the power of the Holy Spirit. As we gather at this time in the name of Jesus, so may our loving God give you all an inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. May God relieve your suffering and restore you in mind, body, and spirit. May all of us in the frailty of our humanity know Jesus' healing power. Amen. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense and make you know and feel that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And now let us pray in the words our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God the Father bless you. God the Son heal you. God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the holy and undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.